we have a column of years, and we need to calculate the yearly sales for each row, given the fact that our sales table has a daily date column. Then we need to calculate the change and percentage change. Now we could use a formula like this to match up the year criteria with the daily dates. Now this is a formula I featured in my book, Control Shift Enter, Mastering Excel Array Formulas. But the problem with array formulas like this is that they take a long time to calculate. So a more efficient formula when you have year criteria and you need to match it up with dates is to use sum ifs, sum range. We're going to select the entire sales column, comma, criteria range, where we need to look through the dates, comma. And we have two date conditions. We need to find all of the daily dates that are simultaneously greater than or equal to the first of the year and less than or equal to the end of the year. So for our first criteria, we have to put in double quotes, greater than or equal to, and then join it using the date function. Now, the date function needs year. Well, that's a relative cell reference that will always pick out the correct year as we copy the formula down, comma, month one, comma, day one, close parentheses. That condition right there will check, hey, how many of you dates are greater than or equal to the lower limit, comma. And for criteria two, we repeat the date column, comma. And here we need less than or equal to in double quotes and join it to, and now we need the upper limit. There's the year, comma 12, comma 31, close parentheses, close parentheses. And this formula will internally calculate more efficiently than some array formula, because some ifs has programming underneath to do this kind of calculation without having to manually go each row and make some array calculation. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. I'm verifying that all the ranges are correct. Now on a small data set, you can use either one of those formulas, but I kind of like this sum ifs. Year over year change, we simply take end amount minus begin amount equals left arrow minus left arrow up arrow. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Year over year change equals, well, there's the amount of change from 2010 to 11. And we're going to divide it by comparing it to previous year. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Drop down in the number group percentage number formatting if you'd like. And we like that 300% increase year over year. Uh-oh, this was a 43% decrease year over year. All right, worksheet formulas, one, two, three. Next video, Excel Magic Trick 1559. We'll do the same report with pivot tables.